Hello dear friends, it's Zara. Today I want to talk to you about a question that came to me on Facebook. Uh, somebody sent me a message and they asked me, what is vibration? So I started thinking about it and uh, the best way to explain vibration is that our bodies send out a vibe. We all know that we can feel somebody's vibration where they are emotionally because if you walk into a room and somebody is feeling upset or angry or if they're not feeling well you can pick up on that without that person saying anything to you at all some of it uh, some of that has to do with their body language and how they're carrying themselves their facial expression but a lot of it has to do with how what they're letting off and you're capturing it with your invisible antenna. And I say that because a lot of times people just look the same as they are all the time. They make an effort, in fact, to look normal. But we still pick up on that thing that we call a vibe. And so today I wanted to talk to you about where does that come from? And let's break it down right to its fundamental block. And the fundamental building block of our physical body is a cell. That cell, and I'm going to draw because you know me, even though I'm not a master at drawing, I like to draw because it makes sense. So I'm going to draw it. So the human body is made up of millions and millions of cells. Each organ of our body consists of cells. Our brains are made up of cells. These cells, so let's see. So if this is a cell, then the cell is made up of little atoms that get together and form molecules. Molecules are at the basis of what a chemical is and our bodies are made up of many different chemicals so so these cells consist of molecules the molecules okay so I should have started with a, a bigger diagram but let's let's make the best of it so the molecules consist of these atoms and if we look at one atom inside that atom is a proton and electrons, many electrons, or however many that specific type of chemical has. And that's what makes an atom. So that's an atom, and it's got particles, and those particles are vibrating because these electrons are never at rest. They're always going round and round, just like planets go round and round the sun in a solar system. and and they are in motion. That motion, that vibration, that energy is there all the time. Whether you're asleep, whether you're sitting, whether you're lying down, whether you're walking, whatever you're doing, the cells of your body are vibrating because every little particle of them is vibrating. That collective vibration is what your body is giving off into the universe and people can feel that vibration. People pick it up because we all have those antennas uh, where we pick up that information from each other. Now, take it a step further. If our bodies are vibrating, then the next step is think about how your body feels when you are in a state of excitement and joy and when you are in a state of anger or sadness or despair your body feels completely different based on the emotion that you're feeling at any point in time our emotions affect the way our body is vibrating and that emotion can affect or does absolutely affect the secretion of hormones and chemicals inside our body. And that affects 
the cellular structure of our body. So that's how our emotional state has an impact on the functioning of our body. The chemicals that are secreted when you're excited are completely different from the chemicals that are secreted when you are in depression. And what take that now a step further. So if you take that a step further, the, the bridge that law of attraction creates between science and quantum physics or biology um, and knowledge of how the human body works and quantum physics, law of attraction actually creates that bridge. And that bridge is understanding that your emotional state has an impact on your body. Therefore, it changes the way your body is vibrating. And even though quantum physics says all possibilities exist simultaneously, and they do, but you only have access to those possibilities that correspond to the way you're vibrating. Your vibration is what opens the door to possibilities. If we are vibrating here at the top of the emotional scale at love or joy, we are opening the field of possibilities from here. And the possibilities that correspond to this emotion are, are possibilities that are going to bring us more joy. The possibilities that correspond to a place of frustration or worry will open the doorway over here at the level of worry. So we we'll attract those possibilities and outcomes that correspond to worry and more frustration. From here, you attract more that give you despair. You unlock the field of all possibilities from where you are on the emotional scale. And that is why being in control of your emotional state is the most important thing to manifesting. So I hope that that helps to add clarity to your understanding about how the law of attraction works. The next step is, okay, how do we control our emotional state? And that's, I'm going to talk about that in my next video. Stay tuned. Love you all and bye for now.